to thank Barbara Taylor, and I want to thank Richard McGarry for keeping this all well watered, um, and I want to thank the sponsoring organizations and all of my fellow candidates for showing up, and I want to thank all of you. And I have a question for you, which is, who in this room has heard of Norm Rolfe? Okay. And who in this room has heard of Joe Lynn? Okay. All right, well then, uh, elections are teachable moments, and I want to tell you about at least two guys. Uh, I, was at, I was at memorial services for each of them this weekend. Um, Norm Rolfe came to San Francisco in the early 50s um, and, uh, and was part of that generation of San Franciscans that fought the freeways. That realized, because the plans for San Francisco were to have the place crisscrossed by, by freeways. The, the planners of that time, the, you know, uh, the, the R version of the Robert Moseses had these grand, grand uh, plans for rationalizing uh, transportation in, in the world and in San Francisco. And the Sioux Bureaus and the Norm Rolfe's, uh, these people got together and they stood up and they said no. And Norm continued to fight for things like preserving some of the rail lines in San Francisco, preserving the cable cars. Uh, he fought for district elections. He fought for a whole number of things. And he, he died last year, and that was a real loss for the city. I also want to tell you about Joe Lynn. Uh, Joe Lynn was a gay guy who I think came to San Francisco probably in the, probably in the 70s. Um, lived through the excesses of the 70s and the tragedies of the 80s. Uh, lost lovers to HIV and AIDS. Sarah converted himself in the 90s, um, became meth addicted, um, found himself towards the, the latter part of the 90s, um, you know, sort of as low as he got, um, and turned his life around in that sort of San Francisco, new beginnings, second chances kind of way, uh, and became the city's leading advocate for open and transparent government and ethical reforms. I see Eileen Hansen here, who's in the back, who worked with Joe um, on, on many of those issues and the service and, service and ethics commissioner with him. Um, he recently uh, finally uh, succumbed to, uh, to leukemia um, related to AIDS. Um, these two San Franciscans, I want you to know about them. Um, I've been thinking about the ways in which this city and, and these neighborhoods that we love are really interesting to us from prior generations. Um, and we, have, we take it from them, and we have an obligation to give, it, to give the city, to give our neighborhoods to the next generation, whether they're our children or just the next set of people to show up better. And as I look around this room, I see the Joe Lynns and the Normals of our generation, the people who want to work uh, to preserve our neighborhoods and make our neighborhoods better, the people who want to work for ethical, open, transparent government, the people who are going to make San Francisco even better than it is, the people who know when to say no to bureaucrats who are wrong, and the people who know when to say no to, to private interests that are trying to get things from the public. Um, I am very excited to work with you in City Hall, to be your advocate and your representative, and I think that together we can do great things. Thank you.